Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. Here I have Acer Aspire C27 and the original hard drive is 512. What I'll be doing is I'll be trying to clone to show you on how to clone the original 512 M.2 drive to this larger 1 terabyte M.2 drive and this brand here is Western Digital. You can use any other brand like Samsung, uh, Crucier, um, you know, any third party brand out there. You can use it, uh, but I just wanted to show you the process on how to do the cloning, meaning that whatever information here in this original hard drive on this computer, like my windows, my data, my programs, my settings, everything I wanted to be migrate over to this new one terabyte M.2 drive without losing anything, right? So um, here's the process on how to do that. Now, let me fast forward. You actually need to have a software called Acronis. I'm not gonna show you in this video here because I make a separate video just dedicated on how to use the Acronis software, how to make a bootable USB drive, and how to do the cloning, okay? So you want to check it out, that video, I would have it in the description below a link in the description below or somewhere suggestions box right on the top of the um, the video right now you should be able to see it now before you continue watching my video or click any of those uh, please click the like button and smash it it's free okay it doesn't cost you anything and I would like to say thank you for doing that and I appreciate you for subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell as well now let me continue what i needed to say is how to clone it right now you do need to have this usb adapter this is m.2 usb adapter which allows me to insert my new one terabyte m.2 drive into it so that i can clone from my computer over into this m.2 drive now you're gonna ask me what is this? This is just an empty box that I just removed from this. Okay, so let me put the empty box on the side. You're gonna ask me what is this cable here? This cable here is actually an, an extension of a USB. All right, so I have the USB plug into the back. I try not to move the computer in an angle that you can't see it from this direction of filming. So I'm just gonna put an extension core here so I can plug in my bootable Acronis um, for this clone process okay so let me plug it in and you can see that it shows up here this is not what we need to do I need to um, go to settings recovery we're gonna do an advanced startup meaning that I like the computer to start up and boot from my USB drive now when I boot from the USB drive the same time I need to insert this so let me go ahead and and insert this first I should have thought about having two extension USB so that I don't have to flip over um, so I don't have to flip over the monitor screen oh well we're gonna just do it right now doesn't matter it's too late now so so go ahead and insert your new M.2 drive into this USB adapter you're gonna ask me where can you buy all this uh, gadget I would have everything listed in the description below and it would direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can buy um, this type of stuff to do the cloning process okay so now I in now I install into the USB just for temporary cloning from here into here once the clone is successful I actually need to take things apart I mean the computer I need to take it apart and then transfer and remove the original M.2 and then install this new M.2 into it. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to click restart. And I'm going to select here, it says USB device. And we're going to do the USB removable device.
Alright, so the computer is still booting up and trying to read off the USB. Let me at the same time, let me go ahead and insert my USB uh, M.2, that new, new SSD drive, okay? So let me lift it up a little bit. And And I'm going to insert it right here. Okay, so you can see the blue light is flashing. Let me adjust the angle a little bit downside. Okay, now as you can see that the USB is booted up and the first thing I do will click on these tools and utilities and I'm going to click on clone this so select automatic now the source the source meaning that it has to come from the computer right so we are cloning from the computer which is the source over to my USB uh, the Western digital that one terabyte on this one right so as you can see that the uh, send this which is my send this here so this is not the source I'm, I'm just kind of explaining to you uh, that you know this is the USB which is not the source so technically the only thing left over would be this one the 512 which I know it says NVMe so click on that as the source okay go ahead and click next now it's looking for the source and then the next thing is looking for the destination it will ask you where do you want it to go to right from the source to your destination my destination is this new that's the name of the USB adapter the USB adapter that you know that I in, that I install is called the J micron tag okay so it says USB I know it's one terabyte because my uh, Western digital is one terabyte right so the destination goes to that location select that and click next and the summary will say the source from this one to the target disk 3 so before the destination is empty right this is brand new right after the cloning is done you can see that some of the space would be used up like here okay so you just got to click proceed and just wait for the process to be done now the process should be very quick because uh, this is a brand new computer only has Windows 10 it doesn't have any programs or data or anything but for your case might be a bit slower I'm sure that you have lots of stuff in the computer um, but for my case I'm upgrading first before I use the computer so uh, it should be a lot a lot faster almost done so let's just wait a little bit So if you're going to ask me where do I get that USB here, I have a separate video. Uh, I'll link it in the description. It will direct you uh, to my s dedicated video called Acronis, uh, how to clone the M.2 to a larger or upgrade drive. Um, that way, I'll show you on how to make this uh, USB bootable for this uh, clone process. Okay, And if you need those adapter the usb adapter or whatnot way to buy them I, I have everything in the description below just 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 check it out there and um and that's how you're gonna do it all right so the cloning process is almost done Again, so once that um, clone is done, and you still have to insert, like install the, you know, the new one terabyte Western Digital M.2, 
you still have to install it into your computer you can't boot off from the USB okay so once it's done you can see this the disk was successfully cloned all right so I'm gonna click OK and just exit out and I'm gonna turn off the computer by pressing and holding the power button all right now the computer is turned off uh, just to make sure that I need to remove this adapter right here okay so just want to let you know that the clone is successfully done coming from the computer over to this uh, one terabyte m.2 now you still have to remove the original 512 m.2 from the computer and then swap it and install this one terabyte into it now I will have a separate video um, on how to do a teardown on this uh, model here so that is for my purpose but for your purpose if you have a laptop of different thing that you want to do uh, swap out you just you know take 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 things apart and then swap the drive or else you're not you're not getting cloned over um, to this new larger drive all right I hope that my video is clear and and if you have any question comment below I will I'm here to answer those questions and help you with the the, the clone process as well so thank you for watching. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.